recapture lost machine time with the ball lock mounting system. Going to the tool show, eh? Yeah, I need to look at a new machining center. We just can't get the work out with the equipment we've got. You're looking at some serious bucks. Tell me about it. Ever hear of the ball lock system? No. What's that? Well, it boils down to a way to get more work out of your existing equipment. How's that? I can't cut chips any faster than I am now. That's just the point. The ball lock speeds up your fixture changeovers, the times that you are not cutting chips. There's the plane. Look, when you get back, come over to our shop and I'll show you how it works. Just don't buy any new equipment till you see what it can do. Well, I didn't sign any purchase orders. Good. Here's what it's all about. The ball lock system locates and locks fixture plates to subplates. There are three components. Shanks, liner bushings, and receiver bushings. The ball lock shank has three locking balls, an actuating ball, and an actuating screw. When the screw is turned, the locking balls deploy, locating and locking in one motion, all with one low profile device. Okay, so where's the big time savings? Well, here we've got a vertical. It used to take at least an hour to change fixtures. Now it takes less than a minute. What about indicating? I didn't see anybody indicating the part to find a zero location. We don't need to indicate. Position accuracy is at least half a thousandth. That's right. The fixture repeatability is plus or minus a half a thousandth from changeover to changeover. Here's a horizontal. On this machine, we're using a four-sided tooling column. The ball lock system is used to mount each fixture plate as well as to mount the column to the machine's subplate. This fixture changeover used to take two to three hours. Now it's done in a couple of minutes. What's going on here? On this vertical, we've combined the ball lock system with jigsaw fixture plates. As you can see, we're fitting lots of vices onto a single setup. 
That's because the jigsaw plate is shaped like a puzzle piece. We change fixtures in about a minute on this machine, compared to almost an hour and a half before ball lock. On this vertical machining center, we have a rotary indexer with a ball lock subplate between the indexer and support block. This allows us to change fixtures on either side of the subplate. Here we've got six plates on a column. Lots of variety, lots of flexibility, all very fast changeovers. This three-axis mill uses the Jurgens jigsaw plate to pack maximum parts into one setup. We now rough out six parts in the time it took to do one. And did I tell you that we're saving time on our smaller machines by using the ball lock? You just did. Hey, everything looks great. Except, who makes up all those special ball lock subplates? But that's a bit tricky. It's not an issue. We buy them ready to go for our specific machines from Jurgens. They have packages available for all the major machines. We get fixture plates, subplates, even tooling columns pre-drilled and with the proper bushings installed. Okay, I'm sold. Maybe we don't need any new machines to get the work done. We just need to recover the lost machine time on our existing machines. Boy, I sure learned a lot of good stuff by going to these trade shows. <laughs>